Okay, hi there, signs of Leo. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's um, take a take two. It was very confusing, and so I am going to use uh, the Midnight Magic Tarot deck to do a Celtic cross, so that we have some structure for the reading, and then. I'll use the uh, Kipper and Lenormand decks to clarify the Celtic cross. So I think I think that would probably work out better for us. <clears throat> better butterfly, a change for the better, uh, change for the better, and then pay attention to your change with purse. There is on the bottom. Let's see anything else. Anything else? Horseshoe. You have good luck. Okay, this might be a, a better reading. <laughs> might be a better reading broom new home new attitude new home new attitude okay whoa what's the swan how pretty this is um the swan here um if you look in the guidebook for animal spirit it talks about like effortless um creativity it's almost and it's also like elegant creativity so there's something really nice about that um about being beautiful um and especially when it comes to some kind of creativity okay so this one anything else and you can see it with the reflection here right oh nice um, firefly, you should expect like a manic burst of energy <laughs> um, and brilliance, truly, with the firefly. Um, it may be like a burst, but take advantage of it when this energy comes to you. I feel like you'll be hit with some good energy here. And then black egg is, um, it's about the throat chakra and it's about uh, finding your true authentic voice, like who who you are or speaking in your authentic authenticity <clears throat> all right so there's that part those are nice and the fireflies you know, really high vibe here we've got water signs and air signs so far so and maybe the change is finding your authentic voice somehow it, it's something to do with that perhaps um, okay still one more time and then we'll cut cut the deck too Bottom of the deck is the nine of swords in the reverse and i look at this card as being like the answer like a solution for something gotta find <clears throat> you're gonna have to find strength for whatever this answer or, or this solution is let's see that strength okay Eight of Swords, the Sun in Reverse, what's going on? Now, this reminds me of the first reading, because the first one was, uh, well, it wasn't completely done, but oh my goodness. the heck? Okay, this is, that's better. <clears throat> readings where I can't do anything that's going to make it any better really except ex <laughs> explain what's going on so there is um, a situation that's like resolving so that's good with the nine of swords it's something it's coming out of a time of feeling 
I don't know, pretty depressed or sad. <clears throat> um, the Four of Cups here in the past is in the reverse, and that kind of means that you were like over it at that point. Whatever it is, and that there was a need for a fresh, a fresh new start for you. But it's going to take something to do with your confidence. <clears throat> and it's really saying that um, you're there. It's, it's allowing the mind really to cause or other possibly other people to, but allowing your thoughts to cause interference in your progress. And so confidence is needed. Why, but tell me, why does the heart space have the sun in reverse? See, these are both your cards, Leo, the strength card and the sun card, and both of them are in the reverse. There's something that feels off, not like, not like oneself. And the challenge is um, to feel more free and there's the Eight of Swords. So, I, <clears throat> let's take a look at this. The um, Justice card is in the reverse for the goals and destiny. Um, we're going to get clarification because, it, to me, it, it feels like new something a new partnership or new soul contract or new something like that new there's something new 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 but it's not this is not a reading focused on what's new or coming in this is obviously a reading about how you move past whatever's keeping you in the eight of swords okay let me get let me get a deck to clarify what Okay. Okay, I'm going to get mystical medleys to clarify with. So, in the <clears throat> environment, you have the Seven of Swords which is some sort of deception or it feels like some sort of deception or something that's um, lying, cheating, stealing. It's one of those. You have the seven, 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 seven in your reading. This is a big challenge. Whatever this is, this is a big challenge. And it has, it involves whatever your decisions are for, I would say to keep things kind of as balanced as you can, especially with these energies, there's a need to make, um, uh, there's a need to put more time into a strategy, into developing a strategy of some sort. The hangman is in the reverse, so it definitely says that you're tired of, of waiting, like you've seen something already um, for something different. <clears throat> I'm getting spiteful. I don't know why, but I'm getting spiteful off of the Seven of Swords. So you're tired of waiting, you're tired of waiting. Um, the Page of Cups is new. This can represent even like a cross, just if you admire a uh, makeover to a, a business or a career. It's the beginning of something. And then it's also, like I said, it's the end of, of what, whatever it is with the King of Wands in the reverse. There was a lot of pretending that everything was just fine when it wasn't, but that's a, a Leo thing is not to really try to bother other people with feelings or emotions too much. And <laughs> so with your own, so we sometimes pretend that everything's going fine just to, um, yeah, just, just to pacify maybe whoever we're talking to. Seven of Pentacles um, in the reverse is like losing patience. It's losing patience. It's a, it's a need to, um, reconsider what you're at where you're at and who, what you're building and who you're building with and then the three of swords in the reverse is accepting an ending by um putting it in the past by putting some kind of heartache in the past 
So that's basically the reading, but we'll get clarification because surely it's not just this, right? Tell me why the sun and strength are in the reverse. The eight of pentacle in the reverse. Because something's not working. I think you could say it very, very plainly, like because something's just not working. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, eight, eight, tell me more about what's not, not working. A chapter that needs to be completed and then a new chapter. So what are we waiting on with the hangman in reverse for you to stop choosing the same lessons to learn over and over? What is not li what is not working is picking the same things, expecting different results. That's literally what that's saying. Um, don't deceive yourself. The, air, the the energy of deceptions in the air. Tell me why why is deception in the air? Oh, okay. So because it could be about reciprocity. Um about oh hey everything's equal but it might not be you know what i'm saying because you have justice up here in the reverse and the six of pentacles is like saying oh but yeah we're compromising and everything's balanced but i'm not so sure another page this can be a message or some kind of news um communication and and the the um, chance for miscommunication because of the seven of swords here why is justice in the reverse a five of Pentacles. me feels alone or golly alone outcasted struggle and there's another four cups in the reverse a need for a fresh start um time out in the cold basically time out in the cold um having to go through financial struggles um health struggles and it might have to do with these choices getting clearer to you though as to what you need to make and then the ace of wands i about forgot that even came out um that's new passionate um fun or passion um for what you do for work it can be that too the six of pentacles usually suggests like a success um I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know. Future energy, seven of cups in the reverse. The nine of pentacle in the reverse. Saying that more effort needs to be put in. Um, and you'll get more out, I guess. More effort goes in. More reward will come out. Um, yeah, and there's abundance, celebration. It's three of cups. Reunion or getting together with friends. Possibly new friends, possibly old friends, uh, family it can be anybody. It's it's after you see clearly what kind of effort needs to be put into. Um, it feels like recovery, into recovery. All right. So what is this new Page of Cups energy? The magician in reverse. Devil. Okay. More effort needs to be um, kept keeping your de uh, devils at bay remember it just because you go up to another level and it just means new devils so you do have to you have to watch out for the devils in every new situation too whatever this is it's a tough conversation to be had about what motivates you and what just absolutely doesn't motivate you anymore nine of swords nine of swords uh, tell me about um, King of Wands, 
Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in the reverse. The Fool, there's the fresh new start. <laughs> Taking a leap of faith, a fresh new start. Whatever you were putting energy into that didn't pay off, you'd like now know that and you're ready to put some kind of heartache in the past. not going to be without like some kind of conflict i wish i i hate that i hate that but i gotta read it the way that it's coming out expect there to be people that don't agree that's about it that's all i can say expect people not to agree fully um the high priestess you'll you'll just know everything about whatever this new journey is um I wonder if that Five of Swords has to do with effort. Let me pull from this siren song. All right, what about the Five of Swords? What about it? The snake. <laughs> I'm sorry. The snake is the sociopath of... <laughs> Lenorma, that's how I remembered their guidebook. It's a sociopath of their um, deck. It is the um, people that don't agree in society that can say things that are really hurtful, that can try to discourage you from like not wanting you to succeed. I don't, I don't know because they have their own issues, but it, it is like a, a snake. It, it can be this devil-like energy um, and, and, and people talking, I guess, people talking. Okay, so that makes sense about this. So it's more of like a conflict on the outside, which is appropriate because that is exactly what's happening today. Parlor. <clears throat> this is a place that you could like call your own it's private and it's just for you it is either your room your apartment your private place it's your parlor what is being said in your parlor watch out for the snake trying to make their way into your parlor your uh, private space um, and I would not not believe some kind of lies too there's some sort of deception in an environment feeling like trapped there you go the the mind prison and the prison card came out so the eight of swords is like a mind prison you're kind of like feeling like i don't know what to do in this situation it's calling for something completely new six of swords it's calling for you to go from one place to um, another it's calling for you to leave somewhere you'll have good luck especially when you put in the effort to see the rewards that you're really wanting right with the bird and the clover um i have man and i have cross Sacrifice. I don't know if this is this is this a snake. I don't know. Let me see. Who is this twenty eight man? Expect some expecting something from you. Expecting something from you. Um, and then you have the white cat loyalty a, a pet loyalty or a friend um you're expecting this nice cat energy and unfortunately i think somebody feels um high and mighty or self-righteous behind the scenes really a snake this person really I like talks bad about you possibly rich gent is on or gentleman is on the bottom of the deck <clears throat> so what about this um 
Finding your voice with the black egg. What about finding your voice then? The snake is right under your, under your face. Fish. Wow, that kind of goes hand in hand with Christianity too, doesn't it? Like fish, the fish. Um, this has been a really long road. You have a lot of resources and you have access to wealth and wealth resources so that that this is very plentiful also the stars is a really good card to get so i'm going to get the book the siren song because i want to tell you read what those mean um ultimately it's because it, ultimately it's telling you to focus on your um the resources that you have that are plentiful and then i mean the stars that's a beautiful Card. And, and it's also the number 16, so you can't expect it to be something that comes easily necessary. But this is luck, success, focus, and prophecy. Mm -hmm. It offers clarity um, for your direction. And so you'll be like the fish navigating, um, just kind of going with the current, right? Let your divinity show, because like I said, there's a lot of lies underneath a mask of self-righteousness. <clears throat> Stars are the gift of, you could have the divine gift of prophecy. You are in divine <clears throat> guidance and alignment or, or alignment with, with your divine guidance. And that's what I've got for you guys. Um, yeah, if you are looking for a private reading, I offer those, and my website is uh, in the description box below. They are $24. They're not that bad, but um, so I do thank you, and I'm sending you much love and light as usual. Bye, Leo.